So unit rate, all it is is comparing the rate to one unit. So some examples might be dollars per hour. <coughs> it might be students per class. And it might be, you get the idea, right? All right, so Nancy makes $500 in 40 hours, okay? What do you, there, there, so there's two different ways to do this. We could either go dollars per hour, right? Or we could go all hours per dollar. How many hours do you have to work to earn a dollar, right? But normally we see this in what? Dollars per hour, right? Normally you're like, okay, I get, I make seven fifty an hour working at Burger King, right? Probably more than that. So if I want dollars per Hour. Per is another way of saying divided by. So if I want dollars per hour, what would have to go on top? $500 per 40 hours. Okay, and this is how I want it set up. You've got to set it up this way with your units labeled. So everybody look up here right now. Okay, it should be $500 per 40 hours. It needs to be labeled with your hours. Everybody understands that? Okay, and then we can divide it. We can take our 500 divided by our 40. What do we get? 1250. Okay, so how we're going to label that is $12.50 per hour. It's a decent wage. I would take that job. Should be minimum wage, okay. All right, so now this one's 462 students fill six school buses. So what do you think more, makes more sense? Students per bus or bus per student? Students per bus. So we need to set it up with our units, so 462 students per six buses. And what do we get? 77? 77 students. Per bus. That's a lot of students on a bus. <coughs> be a little overcrowding issue, isn't it? I don't think our school buses can fit 77 students on it, can they? Isn't there like a 50 some capacity or something like that? Alright, so a unit price is the same thing. Okay, where we are going price per item. Okay, so forty dollars for eight DVDs. How am I gonna set that one up? Forty dollars per eight. DVDs. How much am I paying for a DVD? Five dollars. Do I just write it as five dollars per DVD? Make sure that we are labeling our answers. All right, so this one's written a little bit differently. It says 12 gallons of gas costs $45.59. Okay, but remember, we want price per item. So what has to go on top? Our price per 
Right, so let's come on top. So 45.59 divided by 12 gallons. What am I saying per gallon? $3.79 or 80 cents? $80. $80. $80 per gallon. Spending? Yeah. Very spending. Okay. But I would say it wasn't more than five, six years ago that that was the average price per gallon. Gas has dropped a lot. Okay. So thirty-two dollars for a nine bag, nine pound bag of rice. So set this up for me. Thirty-two dollars per nine pounds. That's what that LB means is pounds. What do we get? Three dollars in sixty cents even. Okay, so $3.60 per one pound. All right, and then there's average speed. Okay, and this is going to be your speed per time. And I'm using time because it could be you might want miles per minute. Okay, you might want miles per hour, it kind of depends on what they're asking. So right now we're flying 900 miles in two and a half hours. So how am I setting this guy up? 900 miles, remember we have to write our units, divided by 2.5 hours. How fast am I going? 360 miles per hour. That's fast. How about if I drive 80 miles in an hour and a half? 80 miles. <laughs> 1.5. Hours. 53? 53 miles per hour. Must have been in a construction zone. <laughs> I don't think I'm driving 53 miles per hour. I'm going 80 miles. So. Alright, run. 26.2 miles in 3.83 hours. Significance for 26.2 miles? That's a marathon, yeah. So some guy ran a marathon, 26.2 miles in 3.83 hours. And how fast did he go? Give me two decimal places, 6.84 miles per hour. That's a pretty good clip. That is not how fast I run a mile, let alone 26.2 of them. Mr. Andres, does anybody have him as your counselor? Some of you would. If you haven't met him yet, he's training for a marathon. Uh, and, I don't know. All right, so 24 ounces. So now we're trying to see what's what's what what's the better deal. 24 ounces for a bottle of Gatorade for a dollar 49, or a dollar 79 for a 32 ounce bottle of Gatorade. So we want price per ounce, right? So what's my price with this bottle of Gatorade? Dollar 49. Over how many ounces? 24 ounces. All 
What do we get? 62 cents? what you can buy at the grocery store. At Sam's Club, they've got 32 ounces for $1.79. So $1.79 is divided by 32 ounces. Well, you're going to round to the nearest cent in this case. you got to think of what you're using. In this case, it's money. So money is going to be the nearest cent. And how much are we paying to this guy? about five cents per ounce. So what's a better deal? Sam's Club or Hornbachers? Sam's Club. So this is my better deal. And that's how you can tell, am I getting a better deal or not? Okay? Who's sitting bull ran the 100 meter dash in 9.63 seconds? So we want speed here, right? And if I'm going speed, it's going to be distance divided by time, right? So we're going 100 meters divided by 9.63 seconds. So 1.03 meters per second. Holy smokes. Okay. So let's see if he was faster in 2008, because right now he's not very fast. He had to retire. So. Huh? 10.38. All right. All right. So now we've got the 200 meter dash in 19.30 seconds. So 200 meters divided by 19.30 seconds. Ten point three six meters per second. So already back in two thousand and twelve, he was getting a little bit slower, right? Because from two thousand and eight, this is a little bit slower, right? The higher the number, the slower you are. All right, so let's talk about using these. Okay, so in twenty minutes, Allison has run 2.4 miles on the treadmill. Okay, so for going how fast she's running, how am I setting this up? What am I dividing on? Yep, because remember we want distance divided by time. So 2.4 miles. Divided by 20, so 0.12, what, miles per minute. All right, so how can we figure out how far she's going to go in 30 minutes? No, we're not going to divide by 30 minutes. Times it, yeah. We're going to take 0.12 miles times my 30 minutes, which is miles per minute. Because if we look at this as fractions, my minutes are going to cancel and I'm going to be left with miles. So it is 0.12 divided by, or times 30. So three, she should be able to go 3.6 miles. 
Okay, so now if I'm looking for how long it's going to take her to run six miles, what am I going to do? What's going to go on top? All right, so six miles divided by 0.12 miles per minute gives me Fifty minutes. Okay, let's talk about this. Does my answer make sense? Is that a reasonable answer that it takes me fifty minutes to run six miles? For some people, not necessarily me, but some people, yeah. Okay, so are you gonna race super hard? Not really. Okay.